Okay, so let's continue with our Kafka Python tutorial series. Uh, so in the previous uh, few videos, we have covered the producer configuration parameters, like which are important for the production use case, like compression.type, message.max.bytes, batch.size, lingua.ms, right? Now we will cover uh, uh, one of the important parameter for the consumer configuration side as well. So if you come here, so earlier we were looking at the producer configuration, right? So and earlier we were looking at the producer configuration. Now we are looking at the consumer configuration. So consumer configuration, there are a lot of parameters. Till now we have used only two. So if I open my code, so let me open my code. Right, so this is my consumer code. And if you see when I initiate my consumer instance, I just use bootstrap.servers. So this is also one of the parameter. So bootstrap.server, you could see this is one of the parameter. Along with that, I use group.id. Along with that, I use group.id. So let me search again, yeah. And, but there are so many properties, right? So there are so many properties we have not used, right? So there is a one property called auto.offset.reset. So this is like a important property, which is like mainly used in our production environment, even in the test environment. So you should know what actually it is. So we do in this video, we are going to learn about this, All right? So before jumping into meanwhile at the back end, uh, let me start my cluster. Docker compose up. So that the cluster is going to be restarted at the back end. And I'm starting the Red Panda cluster using the Red Panda console along with the Red Panda UI. Okay, so let's jump into this topic, auto offset reset, right? So auto offset reset property specified that of uh, what offset the consumer should start reading uh, from in the event. So what exactly it means? So it exactly means is, so let's pause, let's pause you have a Kafka cluster is up and running and there is no producer and there is no consumer. So you have empty Kafka cluster up and running, right? So it means this is the Kafka cluster app and running, right? Now you only and only started the producer. So there are no consumer, or I just forget about the consumer earlier. Uh, earlier there is only Kafka cluster, right? So Kafka cluster, which has topic and nothing, no messages because it's empty cluster. Now you spin up your producer application, right? So once you spin up your producer application, producer application is going to produce some messages, right? So producer application start, uh, so let's suppose there is only one topic, producer application start producing message uh, and it and only one partition. So uh, all the messages will uh, like uh, store in the offset in the incremental order. So first message will be message zero in the offset zero, message one, message two, message three, right? So the four messages is, is going to be stored into the, into the topic. Now you, so you are the producer, you are producing some, some application, you are producing some messages, right? Now there is a one consumer. So consumer said, now I want to subscribe your topic, right? So I want to subscribe to a topic. So you said, okay, this is my topic name. You can subscribe to the topic. So consumer is going to subscribe your topic, but the topic contains four messages, right? Along with that, the messages which are going to be produced by the producer. So that is the normal behavior. If like a producer has subscribed the topic, so let me come here. So producer has subscribed the topic at, at, at distance where I am moving my cursor, right? So that is fine because uh, when the consumer, is, uh, sorry, consumer subscribes to the topic, to, uh, subscribe to the topic. So that is a normal behavior. We know like any new message is going to be published will be consumed by the consumer, right? Any new message is going to, but what about the previous messages? What about the previous messages? If consumer want to consume the previous messages, how he can consume that, all right? So for that, we have the setting called auto offset reset. So if you read this term, auto offset and reset. So we are resetting the offset, right? So when uh, like earlier the offset is zero, then one, then two, then three, and producer is producing the messages. So consumer is like uh, now up and running and uh, con consumer subscribe to the topic. So will consumer going to read only the new messages or, or the old messages? So it depends on this property, auto offset reset. So, so there are a couple of parameters. Uh, there are mainly two parameters, earliest and the latest. All right, so the earliest and the latest. So 
एज द एज द टर्म इंडिकेट अर्लीस्ट मीन्स स्टार्टिंग लेटेस्ट मीन्स वट एवर द लेटेस्ट मीन्स सो इफ वी सेट सो देर इज अ कंज्यूमर वन इफ वी सेट द कंज्यूमर टू द अर्लीस्ट टू द अर्लीस्ट सो वट इज गोइंग टू बी हैपन सो इफ वी सेट द कंज्यूमर वन टू द अर्लीस्ट सो इट इज गोइंग टू कंज्यूम ऑल द मैसेजेस विद इन द विद इन द काफका क्लस्टर विद इन द काफका क्लस्टर सो इट इज गोइंग टू कंज्यूम ऑल द मैसेज इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर द message published earlier uh, even when the consumer doesn't exist so it is going to consume all the old message it means all the historical data along with the new real time data which is going to publish but what about the latest so latest means so let's suppose the, uh, there is a topic a topic already have the four messages and now the consumer is going to be up right so now the so at this stage at this stage consumer subscribe to this topic at this stage consumer subscribe to the topic so latest means latest means because consumer subscribe the topic at this stage so whatever the message is going to be published after this stage that is going to be consumed by this consumer this consume the old message is not available for this consumer because the configuration parameter auto dot offset dot reset is latest latest means whatever the latest message not the historical data so when to use earliest when to use latest so it depends upon your application so if your application worry about the historical data as well so you can use the earliest if your application don't worry about the historical data just only worry about the real time data then you can use the latest right and there are one more scenario if the consumer is going to be down and then going to be a what what is going to be happen but let's see first these two scenario in practical right so my kafka cluster is up so you could you could see my kafka cluster is up and there are no messages so so as i told you in first instance we have the kafka cluster so kafka our kafka cluster is up and running which is empty then in second instance we are spinning our producer application so we are spinning our producer application so let's start our producer application so python avro producer.py so let's insert a couple of record so one so user 1 enter and 1 user 1 at the rate gmail.com let's insert a couple of more record 2 user 2 2 user 2 at the rate gmail.com let's enter three records 3 user 3 and 3 user 3 at the rate gmail dot com. So we have inserted three messages. So earlier the Kafka cluster is empty. Now we spin up our producer application. So you could see our consumer application is not running. Only our producer application is running, and the cluster is running, right? So we inserted three messages. So let's cross verify. So go to the topic and refresh it. So our test topic has been created, and it has three messages. and if you click on the consumers we don't have any consumers because our, there is no consumer because no one has subscribed to the topic because our consumer is not up so let me go to here in my kafka consumer and as i told you we have one setting called auto offset reset so let's do that setting so auto dot offset dot reset right so so this settings can be earliest or latest so what will happen if i type earliest what will happen if i type earliest earliest means because earliest so my kafka cluster has my topic has three messages so and i now i because and there is no consumer so there will be fresh consumer so there will be fresh consumer and i am saying i am starting my consumer with the setting as earliest so what is going to be happen at the earliest means consumer is going to point to the first offset and will start consuming all the messages so let's see whether this is going to be happen or not so we have saved uh, this setting to the earliest which is fine and now let's so python avro consumer dot so as soon as i hit enter so there is something wrong no such property dot configuration auto dot offs okay the spelling of the reset is wrong so reset which is fine and let's start avro consumer and as soon as i hit enter you could see all the 
previous message has been read by the consumer, which is user one, user two, and user three. All the old message also because the all the historical data also been read read because we said the consumer as the earliest. And if we go to the Kafka console and now you refresh it, now you could see we have the consumer which is part of this group ID, right? And this group ID, and you could see this group has read three messages and the log end. So log end means uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So the end is 4. So end is 4. So why this setting is important? So that because how the consumer is going to be know because consumer is running, right? How but how the consumer is going to be know from which offset I need to read uh, now because so it is going to check okay, what is my uh, like a group offset? What is my log and offset? So it is going to read. So it says, okay, group has read uh, till three point. So I go to the topic. So note basically till three point. Uh, let me go to the topic and test topic and messages. So basically two point zero one two, but from where it has to be read? So it has to be read from the third offset now. It has to be read. So that's why these parameters are maintaining, but just ignore for the timing. We are looking at this property auto offset re reset earliest and the latest. So we see earliest in practical, right? And it is like uh, consuming all the historical message as well. All right. So now let me stop the consumer. Let me stop the consumer, right? Let me stop the consumer and let me change the setting to the latest. Let me change the setting to the latest and let me start a fresh consumer. And if the fresh consumer, it should be, it should be of like uh, some different group ID. So it should be a part of some different group so that it will treat a, as a fresh so that it should not get this setting. It should not get this setting, which has the my group ID. It should not get this setting. All right. So now I have uh, I have changed the setting. Um, I have changed the my group ID group ID along with I change to the latest. So latest means so now I have the three messages. And if I start the consumer, will it going to read the old messages or not? So let's see. Python avro consumer.py. And if I hit enter, you could see it is not reading the new messages. It is not reading the new message because and if I refresh it, if I refresh it, so this, this is a new consumer. And uh, members, topics show all with lag, so that is fine. And so it is, it is not reading any new messages, even though our topic has four messages, right? Our topic has where where is messages? But test topic and our topic has three messages. Because why it is not reading? Because we have set to the latest. So latest means. Any new messages, once the consumer is going to be started, any new messages will it going to be read. So let's see whether it's going to read any new messages or not. So insert user ID 4 and user 4, 4, user 4 at the red gmail.com. So now uh, fourth message has been inserted and you could see now it read the fourth message. So it means it is not reading the historical data it is only reading the real time data All right so it is only to only only the reading of real time data so we have covered earliest and the latest but what is going to be happen on the restart so let's pause i stop the consumer i stop the consumer and because maybe because of network issue or maybe anything else issue consumer is stopped but producer is not stopped producer is still still producing the messages right so user id 5 user 5 enter enter 5 user 5 at the red gmail.com and insert 6 user 6 6 user 6 at the red gmail.com so you could see earlier uh, this latest one has only read this message all right and and after that consumer uh, because of some reason consumer has stopped and uh, in the meanwhile in the meanwhile uh, <coughs> this cluster or this topic has two more messages uh, like offset number four and offset number five 
Now, if I am going to restart my consumer, which has setting as a latest. So, will it going to read this message is 4 and 5 or not? Will it going to read this message or not? So, yes, it is going to read this message. But why it is going to read this message? When I am saying latest means latest. So, latest definitely means latest. So, it should not read the historical data. But it doesn't mean that the if by mistake because of some error consumer is going to be stopped, it is not going to read those messages. So consumer is going to read. So it will come here. It will say, okay, log and offset is six. So there are six messages. But my group has read only till this point. So I have to read the remaining messages. I have to read the remaining messages. So as soon as as soon as Avro consumer dot as soon as it started, you could say it is going to read the previous messages. But what which previous messages? Only five and six. Still, it is not going to read the messages which are historical, even when the consumer was not even started. So if you refresh it, now the group offset has been updated. So it means like uh, <coughs> you can say uh, it has read it till this message is all right. So let's go to our like uh, scenarios here. So there are like uh, earliest, latest. And if we just put anything else, anything else means like ABC, then definitely consumer will throw some ex exception. That is, it is not a valid value. But what is the default value? Because earlier our consumer code was running, right? Even we are not passing this. So default value is latest. Even though you are hard coding it, but even though by default, it also the latest, right? So when to use latest, when to use earliest. So if your application worries about the historical data, then you have to use earliest. If your application don't care about the historical data and care about the real time data, then you can use latest, right? Okay, so there are scenarios which we already covered. So if there is a fresh consumer start and it subscribe to the topic, which has already a lot of messages in our case. So if it is latest, then it is not read the existing messages. Like as we see, when we are starting our topic, when we start our like a cluster and we publish three messages, one, two, three, offset zero, offset one, offset two. And after that, we started our consumer with latest and the earliest. So earliest is going to read all the previous messages and but the latest is not going to read the uh, existing messages, right? Okay. And what will going to be happen when the consumer is going to be restarted? What is going to be happen when the consumer is going to be restarted? So on the restarted, we could see it has, it it will going to check, okay, what is my group read, like uh, my group has read how many messages and what is the last committed offset? I am going to read from there. So upon restart, upon restarted, this parameter, this parameter is of no use, auto offset reset. The, upon restarted, Either your setting is earliest or either your setting is latest. Consumer is going to start consuming the message by reading this parameter group later. So it doesn't mean if you are like, let's suppose your uh, setting is earliest, your setting is earliest and you already read million of messages. And after reading million of messages, your consumer is going to be stopped because of some reason. And now you started your consumer. It doesn't mean it is again going to consume all the million messages. No, because your consumer already read your million messages and it committed the ID here. All right. So earliest doesn't mean like it is going to re-consume the same messages which it already read. Earliest means it is going to consume those messages which it did not read. As an example, in case when there are four messages and, and the consumer did not even read a single message, and, uh, and there are already existing messages. So when we set the earliest, it is going to read all the message. But in the latest, it is not going to read the previous messages. And But upon restarted, it is only and only going to read in both the scenarios, those messages which are not read earlier. All right. So this is like a, one of the important property for the consumer. And we have seen in practical as well. So that's it. That's the end of the video. And uh, thank you.